Hey what's up everyone so welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm so excited to talk about the new updated photo app on the iOS 13. What makes it best than ever before is the new added features on the editing functions. What I'm about to show you now is to guide you how to edit this photo using the new features on iOS 13. Meaning that you don't need the third-party applications on the App Store to help to edit this photo. This is the before and after edited photo. As you can see, the original one looks very dark. Sometimes, we don't know, it just comes out like this but because of the reflections of the sunlight which we normally don't prepare for. However, what can be changed before is now possible on the iOS 13. So, without further delay, let's get started. So now as you can see, I have got the photo in my iOS 13 now. So, what I'm about to do is to go to edit and then I is you can play around with auto mode. It's up to you, but you can see the photo doesn't change much. So, I just turn it off, but what I like to play around with is the exposure and the Next one is the brilliance. So the new features on this new iOS 13 is the brilliance capability. Because this new one is not like before. And another new one is definition and the noise reduction. Okay, so these are the new added features on the iOS 13. Okay, so now let's go back to edit this photo to make this photo brighter first of all is to go to exposure so drag exposure up and then I would love to play around with brilliance it's nice and awesome as you can see brilliance does a very good job so I love with 76 highlight so highlight is to make your let's say the light or the reflection from anywhere on your photo to be brighter or less brighter so as you can see here over here so it's it's up to you if you like brighter photo yeah you can get like tent shadow you can bring it down or bring it up it depends on the photo situation as you can see in this photo I would love to bring it up a little bit but this is what you have to remember you have to bring down the contrast so when you bring down the contrast or you bring it up you can see that the faces of the people in this photo looks darker and which is not really nice so just bring the contrast down maybe 50 percent or 30 minus 30 percent if you think the photo still looks dark so you can increase the brightness a little bit and then with the black point where you can bring down the dark or the shadow somehow back a little bit saturation you can increase a little bit or decrease it is up to you but my personal preference is to decrease the, the saturation a little bit and then I would love to bring up the vibrance because vibrance is kind of uh, you know give more saturated to uh, different places or different areas so I bring it up so now it looks much better and then the warm yeah it's up to you what kind of uh, you know what kind of weather do you like okay so you like a, a cold a photo or you want to get warmer so I try my best to balance it warmth and tint this is also a new feature added in this uh, app as well tint is where you can kind of bring down and bring up uh, the pink and the yellow to uh, the photo so tint and uh, uh, warm here they are very important to adjust the uh, color of the photo or the weather of the photo yeah so I think 
this one look uh, pretty much better for me definition uh, definition is quite similar to uh, one function exist on the light earth bring it up see that it's darker so definition I would love to drink the uh, app only six annoy reduction so annoy reduction this is one of the best uh, you know feature so far that you can reduce the noise especially when you are taking the uh, photo in low light condition so do not bring it to the maximum as you can see if you bring it to the maximum the photo looks very blurry so just get it like you know 15 or 20 just depend okay so now uh, the photo is ready or oh, you can play around with this uh, preset the color as well the filter built in on these new features it's up to you you want to play around but I don't want because this is what I really love the most on the new iOS 13 okay so that's it just click done now I get the new photo as you can see the comparison between the previous and the uh, current photo which one looks better for sure the last one looks pretty much better than the previous one okay so if you have any questions and any comment just let me know in the comment down below and I would love to see you guys in the next video thanks